right, welcome to Falcon Blues TV. We don't want to talk about Everton. Again. Yeah, we <laughs> no, no. We're just winding everyone up now. Um, but yeah, me and Barney are here because Paul obviously has had enough and he's right, busy writing Marco Silva several times on his cum <laughs> list. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just he- such a heavy time for being a bad, isn't it? And it, you know, we, you all know what's happening. We're not gonna, we're not gonna fucking go through it all again. You've seen it all. You, you're reading it all. You're hearing David Moyes, fucking Mark Hughes. You're hearing Eddie Howe, but you're not hearing the ones that you want to hear, man. But you're really not. You're, and you know, I think last night Carragher said he's Evertonians are turning the nose up to some of the names mentioned. Yeah, yeah, we are. Right. Yeah, yeah, we really are. But Eddie Howe's won one in seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, his record this season is no better than Mark Silva's. He was lucky to keep his job last year. Yeah. Oh, he really was. And and then on Twitter you've got everyone going, well look where our last four minds have come from. Wigan, Southampton, Watford, Fat Sam. Yeah. But yeah, we don't want there's, there's, there's we no, don't want no another. Ambition, there's no ambition uh, yeah, there at all, no, is there? Uh, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Pochettino is my man. Yeah. Why not? He's out of a job. We historically pay good wages for managers. Why not? He t- he done it with Spurs. Spurs, I'd say Spurs. We're not playing as bad football, but we're in the same boat as we are when he took over from Redna. Yeah. But now you look at the you look at the team that Spurs are, and they, outside of City, and the Red Shite, and to, to, even to a lesser extent now, Leicester. Yeah. yeah. Tottenham are the team that you should be looking to emulate and be that kind of definitely. side, that definitely. kind of playing that football ta- side, definitely. that attacking side. Definitely. New ground and all that. that the players that they attract. That's what you want. But all that has come from Pochettino being in. You know, he's, um, um, Daniel Davies has been very frugal with money, but, 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 he's, but, he's, but look imagine he had money. money. Yeah. Imagine if he had the money, the four hundred million pounds that Silva, Allardyce, and Koeman have had. Yeah. Imagine he had that bulk of money. With maybe you know. He could do it. With, you, know, you honestly think that perhaps he could do something with a fraction of that again mm-hmm. and just work, work within his means? Exactly, yeah. You know? it, it's obvious he's a good man manager. He gets the best out of players. Yeah. Silver doesn't. And it's clear as day. Yeah. So that takes us on to the weekend and the next few games. I'm just grateful that the, the, the second game that we're going to talk about is actually on Amazon, so we won't actually have to watch yeah. it on Sky. Exactly. Um, but Sunday we're going to Leicester. I'm who, grateful that they're both away. Yeah. Because I think, I think as poor as Silva's been and as much as I don't want to be the manager, they've hung him off to dry. I also think Goodison will be absolutely toxic. Sometimes I think Goodison needs to be toxic. Yeah. I really do. Maybe if the derby was at home and it was as toxic as what it was to at the end of uh, Norwich, maybe you'd already maybe, see a yeah, difference in the yeah, team. Yeah. Maybe the Everton team would chip themselves and go, oh, you know, gonna have to, is this what everyone was going on about? Too, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Is this what is this what everyone meant when they said Everton fans know their football? Yeah. But I think though, <clears throat> if it, if these games were at Goodison at the same time. I, I do think that toxicity would be there, and it wouldn't be aimed at the players. It would be the vitriol and everything would be aimed at Marco Silva. Definitely. And it wouldn't be, it would it wouldn't be received well on the pitch. No, because it it, you know you saw that what happened with the, the substitution with Coleman coming off for um, Jim yeah. Sadiri, and you look, you know, that's the wrong decision. And it wasn't the the boon wasn't aimed at James Coleman. It was booze. It was yeah. the decision. It, there was no. Encouragement after that, it would, you just knew it was just like fucking hell. We're chasing the game here, and you're bringing on a defender. Right yeah. yeah, I mean, which is fair enough. You can understand that you why you would be frustrated by it, mm. but then your anger is suddenly switched from the opposition to your manager, yeah. and that that becomes a big, big thing, problem. A big problem. That, affects, that would affect the players if yeah. they're here and that. Yeah, you can understand that definitely. Um, he's just, I think, I think Sunday we're gonna have a. I think we're gonna. Have our tail. He's gonna have a laugh, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's gonna, we're gonna have our tail between our legs the whole game. We yeah. really are. We're gonna play. It's. I, I, I think it's gonna be boys v men. Mm. I really do. You saw. You saw how well Leicester played last week. I thought they were excellent watching them. Yeah. Uh, they were. And then you had Southampton the week before that. Yeah. You know they're they're on. They're in a rich <sighs> vein of form. Their confidence is sky high. They're yeah. third in the league. Yeah. Third in the league coming up to Christmas. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's a good place to be. Isn't it? It's and a great then, place but, to be. And it's 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 the place where Everton should have been. I think we we should have kicked on the way uh, Leicester off. 
Definitely. But I just think, obviously, injuries, VAR. <laughs> Don't mention VAR! <laughs> <laughs> Poor officiating, bad decisions, injuries mainly, but also the manager's poor decision making and game management yeah. have been a big lot of, of the reason behind why we're playing so poorly yeah. I, think, I think the ref, uh, the referees and everything else aside the manager's got to take stock and realise a lot of stuff is, is, is choices yeah it, he's got uh, he's got the tactical mouse of a field mouse mm. he really has mm. I think he's so tactically inept and and you know I, I, I'll defend managers I always have no, Cuban. I still think. I still think we sack Cuban too too soon. Mm. I really do. There's, there's people out there who still think we we sack Martinez too soon. Oh, as well, you well, know. He was a different breed, wasn't he? Mm. Don't you think about it? But let's let's look at Cuban and Sylvia. Look at the start of the season. We sacked Cuban. He had the top six in his first twelve games. Yeah. Right. And early European start. And and a very yeah. So it was a trip to uh, Croatia, wasn't it, in July? Yeah. You know, so he had all that to come, and then another qualifying rounds, and then actual Europa League on a Thursday. Yeah. So we had a lot to deal with in that. And then you look at Silvers. You, every one of us, we had to do a video to start the season. People comment and saying, "Yeah, we we should be sixth, fifth, or fourth. Come this time. Yeah. Come this Leicester game on the it was on June the thirtieth of November. We all said we should be there thereabouts. Yeah. And we're it's, not. It's the best run. That we've I've seen run of fixtures that I've seen ever and have ever in the Premier League for yeah. sure definitely yeah. definitely and we blew it we blew massively it. blew it and, and that's down to, I, I honestly believe it's down to one man and that's down to Marco Silva's tactics it really is <sighs> look what you're doing to us look what you're doing to us Evan it's frustrating it's frustrating <clears throat> it really is I'm just I'm just glad I've been training this week and I didn't have to go to work to see a couple of the cop bites. It's horrible, eh? Well, I, I, I don't want to do predictions because I, do, I just... I, we I failed miserably last week. Yeah, we, we tried to do it in the podcast last week. Football's finished on iTunes and Spotify, by the way. Oh, and subscribe to Falcon Blues TV. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we were looking at fixtures and we just went, we should be we should be picking up points out of these now. We should, we should be... Not. I think, it was, I think it was, we were on the... We finally won away, and we'd actually picked up Southampton. Yeah. Southampton. Then we're thinking, hang on, the because he plays well. But that international break just fucks everyone up. Again. I read, I read somewhere again. I don't know how true it was. But I read on Twitter today that apparently um, they went, they all went for the team meal, and a few home truths got done. Mm. We beat Southampton, and then it all felt a bit again after the international break. But with, with how, how it, it's it's amazing how you can go. Well, how's that happened mm. between one game and, and two weeks off? No one's seen each other. No. No one's seen each other. They're gonna take the piss out of each exactly. other and have, a, and have a fight. The only ones who were fighting was fucking Raheem Sterling and Softjack and the, the Reds. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, no one from Everton should be going. All right. We're just um, right now. We're in disarray, aren't we? Yeah. We're in a slippery. We're on a slippery slope, and it's only going one way. Yeah. And it's down. We right now that form that we're in, it's Mike Walker form. Yeah. 1994. Mm-hmm. It's Mike Walker form. That's this is exactly how I remember it. Actually, yeah, I do. Yeah, I honestly, so it, poor, so poor, so so poor. You couldn't see where the next win was coming from, and that's how I feel now. Them next six games. If you could give me a winner, where we where are we going to find three points in our next six games? Even Burnley and Boxing Day. Boxing Day. No, a bit strong. I really do think we struggle. They're they're coming into form now. What they they just. Two wins, haven't we? Yeah. Two wins on the trot. I, th- I think the only thing that can go in Everton's favour is that we're playing the higher the teams that are higher up now. We, we, you know, we've got all the teams that we were meant to be playing and should um, on paper should be beaten. Mm. Now we've got a test. Yeah. We may, we I might, suppose we, we might saw just it. suddenly turn up. We saw that the back end of last season when we had that run. That's that's a paper of cracks again. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, Sky is saying Silver's going to be in charge Sunday. And I can't believe it. No. I really can't. I really can't. So, but if he does win, yeah, he's got the derby. Yeah, of course, it's a stay of execution. Of course, it it is. But that's all it is. And again, the, someone someone's mentioned it on Twitter that if we're not looking at the derby as go out there and just kick fuck out of them and win the game, then there's no point in football. There isn't. There, there's no point. There in, isn't. There's no point in us even no. bothering. No, the, the, at the end of the day, they are our main rivals. Yeah, and you always want to beat them. The board saying that he's got Leicester, possibly Liverpool. That says to me that they don't want to beat them. No, they're they're happy to take the, 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 the defeat. Yeah. 
Yeah, he really had. They were happy to take the, whatever beating his hand to us over the next two games. Yeah. Just because they haven't got a plan. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's yeah. all it is. They haven't got a plan. We're a business. Yeah. Every business is meant yeah. to have a fallback plan, a contingency plan. And if we, if yeah. things go tits up, here's what we do. And we it's clear as day we haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm sick of talking about Everton bad. It's shite. It's shite. Really <laughs> it's shite. It really is. It's shite. Right. So all we want you to do, Everton fucking turn up this weekend, eh? Just do us a favour. Yeah, get, have, have a go. Don't fucking ask for much. We never do. But mm-hmm. turn up. Turn up on Sunday and turn up on Wednesday. Yeah. <clears throat> and at least then we might like you for a little bit more. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe not Marco Silva, but we'll like Everton. Yeah, Everton. Yeah. So until then, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, Falcon Blues TV. Follow us on Twitter at Falcon Blues TV. And Falcon Blues 1878, which is Jay, so if you need tickets for the coach, I don't think you'd want to go to the away games either. <laughs> two spares, blah, 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 yeah, it's Sunday yeah, now, yeah. isn't it? If you really want to go and you're that sadistic, then have some give, give Jay a shout. Also, follow us on Spotify and on iTunes for Football's Finished. It's Barney and me and Ant all having a chat about why football's just fucked. And if you want to have a little go on the podcast, let us know. Yeah. And you can be involved. We'll give you the Skype and we'll get you involved. Yeah, yeah. feel free. So, until then. <laughs> Up to the top. Up to the top. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> she <had> to. <laughs>